you've got a, a deep burden to see a fulfillment of the cry upon the heart of Jesus, where he said, the harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray to the Lord of the harvest that he could send forth laborers into his harvest fields. If you no wish for others to be saved, then you're not saved yourself. Be sure of that. Now hear the word of Yahweh as he speaks through his holy scriptures. But to this one I will look, to him who is humble and contrite of spirit and who trembles at my word. Isaiah 66, 2 word of God. Hey, what's going on, brothers and sisters in the Lord Jesus Christ? Um, I have worked on a new video, and the reason that I made this, we are in the last days, and um, the devil has been working over time, and I just ran into uh, things that was very disturbing to me. So as you watch this video right now, um, open your eyes carefully and watch what's going on to the new Bibles, and ESV is one of the main ones that I discovered. So check it out. I'll get back to you, read what I'm passing through the slides, and yeah, God bless you. See you in a bit. Now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, Has God indeed said?
Now, brothers and sisters in Christ who read from the ESV, I want you to make you aware. You see these brackets right here? And then the bracket we're going to see in the bottom. This portion of scripture is where the woman that's caught in the act of adultery. If you hold to the ESV, um, the scholars have said that this portion of scripture was is not true and added in. Well, I do not believe that. That's up to you. Let's look at this very carefully. Romans chapter 8, the first verse. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Many people will say amen. But let's see. There's something missing here. This is the part where the devil doesn't want you to know. There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. He, he who, he an angel, what was manifested in the flesh? Well, it says he was manifested in the flesh, vindicated by the Spirit seen by angels, proclaimed among the nations, believed on in the world, taken up in glory. He, who is he? God was manifested in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen by angels, preached among the Gentiles, believed on in the world and received up in glory. God. So the goal in making this video was to expose that. A lot of people who read the ESV just do, do not have the knowledge of that. Now I've given you the knowledge of it and you are aware. Will I no longer fellowship with people who have ESV? That is false. I will fellowship with any believer with any Bible. But this is for me, my brothers and sisters who do read the ESV of great concern. And it's good that we should be aware of these things. We are in the last days. The devil, like I said, is working overtime. He is attacking in all arenas in the world and especially now in our Bibles. Let's just be very, very cautious. God bless. Thanks for taking your time to watch this. Let's be sober and vigilant in these last days. This Christian is radical, what's written is factual. Let me first establish all scriptures infallible. It's God breathed his word, he exhaled. To the blind, the spirit makes the text braille. Embrace his mysteries, look and take a glance. At the greatest history book, no fate a chance.
his word never fails unlike men who are sinning by his word he's declared the end from the beginning in his plan of salvation is solely through scripture god reveals himself yet it's only a whisper to speak to man he's greatly condescended but only his spirit can make you comprehend it but we can't grasp the whole of it it's impossible because the fact is holy writ is inexhaustible yet you claim his word has contradictions because you don't have the spirit and you're not a christian imposters can't see it with binoculars and only the can is inspired not the apocrypha ignoring the facts of it is horribly hazardous and i can assure you that it's historically accurate see the text we hold is the dead sea scrolls and we testify that it sets free souls and renews the minds of these dudes who rhyme and fiends who use to fry and inject needles grass where the flowers fade but the word of god endures forever a perfect treasure grass where the flowers fade but the word of god endures forever a perfect 